Alejandra Ancheita is the founder of ProDesk, an NGO that champions the rights of workers and migrants in Mexico. She's this year's winner of the Martin Ennels Award, which honors human rights activists. And in Mexico, human rights defenders are definitely at risk. We just documented as a part of the national um, women's human rights defenders that it, during this year we have 309 attacks only against female human rights defenders. Her organization is also helping indigenous communities protect their land in disputes with multinational corporations that want to set up wind farms in southern Mexico. But the Mexican people's main concerns are the drug cartels that are terrorizing the country. They're also concerned about corrupt politicians and police officers. In this year alone, there have been over 7,000 murders connected to organized crime. Mexico has a pretty serious history of corruption and impunity. And uh, the Mexican government has to really understand that rhetoric, it is not enough. In Mexico, 90% of reported crimes are never solved. Those who refuse to cooperate with the drug cartels often become victims. Thousands of citizens have formed vigilante groups. In some parts of Mexico, they even have the government's blessing, if only for the short term. You will be not able to, to see a chance for human rights in Mexico. But it is important to remember that human rights, it is not only um, um, related to the access to justice. But on the other hand, I think it is very important to remember that the other pillar of uh, human rights is uh, people organ organizing themselves and demanding their rights. It is a citizenship exercise. As many as 26,000 people are believed to have disappeared in Mexico including the 43 kidnapped students from Iwala. It's thought they were detained by police on their way to a demonstration and then turned over to members of a drug cartel. Three of the drug dealers who were later arrested said they'd taken the students to a garbage dump, shot them, and burned their remains. The first of the students was identified over the weekend. Society in Mexico is just tired of this situation, and it is now not only about the, the students in, in Ayotzinapa, but could be also about my, my son, about my brother, about my neighbor. So everybody, we are all on the same um, journey. And we just realized that we have to organize um, uh, society that can overcome the fear and demand our rights because we have the human right to live without, without violence. The fate of the missing students has been a wake-up call for Mexicans. Hundreds of thousands took to the streets, demanding that President Enrique Peña Nieto resign. Some even set fire to government buildings. Mexicans are fed up with their politicians' empty promises. The fate of the missing students threatens the control of Mexico's power elite.